हेलो एवरीबडी हाउ आर यू ऑल गाइज वेलकम टू मैक टैब दिस इज वे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न ऑल अबाउट बायोलॉजी बी एट एनी टॉपिक आई एम वरुणी योर एजुकेटर फ्रॉम मैक टैब एंड आई एल बी हैंडलिंग योर बायोलॉजी क्लासेज लेट स्टार्ट विद अवर फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ साइंस विच इज फूड वेयर डज इट कम फ्रॉम students now let's find out the contents of our very first lecture we are going to study these two topics today first is food variety you all know that we eat different kinds of food daily sometimes we eat sandwiches sometimes we eat lentils and rice sometimes fruits so why we don't eat same kind of food every day we are going to discuss this and secondly we will discuss about ingredients this might seem a new word to you but i'll tell you what are ingredients students are you ready without any further delay let's start our first chapter wait 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 before starting the chapter tell me one thing would you be able to live without food yes or no tell me would you be able to live without food i am quite sure your answer would be no because if you don't eat food you start feeling tired and hungry right but you know why this happens let me tell you this happens because your body needs energy right you start feeling tired and hungry because your body needs energy and do you know from where do we get this energy we get energy from food right so basically this means that you need food to get energy food is our basic necessity we cannot live without food in simple words food can be defined as anything which we eat to live or to get energy right food is anything which we eat to live and to get energy okay students now you all please let me know what did you eat for your breakfast today did you eat corn flakes some of you might had parathas and butter some eat omelets some of you might had sandwiches idli sambar or maybe some fruits right and even in drinks also some of you might had tea some of you might had coffee some might had milk shakes juice right so now ask your few friends what did they had in their breakfast today right ask us now hardly one or two of you had similar breakfast so do you guys realize you all had different breakfast we can say that there is unlimited variety of food even we all eat different food items daily whether it's lunch dinner breakfast we don't eat same thing daily right so different food variety includes fruits vegetables pulses cereals meats 
एग्स एंड लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ अदर थिंग्स राइट तो डिफरेंट टाइम्स ऑफ फूड आइटम्स विच वी नीड और विच वी ईट आर कॉल फूड वेराइटी डिफरेंट food items which we eat are called food variety right now tell me why do we need food variety imagine eating same thing daily won't you get bored even if it's your favorite thing suppose noodles is your favorite food item okay suppose noodles is your favorite food item would you be able to eat it daily no right you will absolutely start crying when your mom will give you same food daily you will get bored we cannot eat same food item every day but if you have different options for food you will eat happily also there is another reason for why do we need variety is health different food items provide us different types of nutrients and vitamins if you eat parantas daily you will get carbohydrates only we won't get any vitamins and minerals but our body needs different nutrients to stay healthy and fit different nutrients help us to grow so if if you are asked that why do you need food variety is first it's for fun and second is health the simple answer to this question is fun and health agree okay even people eat food according to their habits lifestyle taste and availability so basically i mean to say is we require variety of food because it's fun and it is also healthy to eat different kinds of food got it okay students now we will make a cake i'm sure you all love e- eating cakes yes that's why today we will learn how to bake a cake Let's find out what all we need to make a cake. So, the items required to bake a cake are milk, sugar, some vanilla extract if you are baking a vanilla flavored cake, flour, salt, eggs. You can even skip eggs if you want to bake an eggless cake. Right? so all these things are required to bake a perfect cake now let's make a fresh lemonade since it's very hot so i tell you how to make a perfect refreshing lemonade items required to make a perfect lemonade are mint sugar fresh lemons ice and water these all items are required to make a fresh lemonade now you all must be thinking that why ma'am started teaching us cooking right i'll tell you but first you let me know what is in one word what do we call these items which we use to make these dishes what do we call these items which we require to make a particular dish guess okay i'll tell you we call these items as ingredients in simple language 
different materials required to prepare a dish are called ingredients right different different food items which we require to make a dish are called its ingredients for some dishes you may need a lot of ingredients but for other you might need one or two ingredients suppose you are making rice suppose you are cooking rice so what do we need to cook rice we need rice and water right basically we took only two ingredients to cook rice whereas for making fresh laminate we we used so many ingredients that's why for some dishes you may need a lot of ingredients and for others you might need one or two ingredient even do you know the packed food items like chips biscuits has also ingredients mentioned on their packing paper you sh you all should find out what's your favorite biscuit is made up of you can take a packet of biscuit and then you can check on its wrapper then that what are its ingredients also write all the ingredients required to prepare your favorite food item so students we are done for today today we study about food variety and ingredients food variety the different food or the different dishes we had in a breakfast lunch dinner is called food variety and ingredients are the materials or items which are required to prepare a particular dish are its ingredients in the next lecture we will be covering plant parts and animal products as food and what do animals eat see you soon till then bye bye take care and do revise this chapter thank you students bye